Welcome to Comedy Global. A severe lapse in the execution of an act of self-capability and safety, which we call as mock drill, just took a precious life before 12 long years. But still, authorities have not learned a lesson. Is mock drill just a government program to show everything live and active on authority files only? The recent tragedy that took place in Mallapalli is the second tragedy that Kerala saw during a mock drill. Do you remember Rabindra Prasad who was Tiruvalla DYSP? He, a native of Mavilikara Cherukol, was mangled between the fire force vehicle and the wall during a mock drill event. Yes, Rabindra Prasad died 12 years ago. The state police force lost an excellent top police officer that day. During the inspection, as part of the mock drill, he got out of his jeep and was running towards Tiruvalla civil station when a following fire force vehicle crushed him between the pillars. The cause of death was severe injuries. Even after that, what did authorities learn or people learn? taking one's life again. It seems true. It was warned a few days ago about the grand mock drill conducted by the state authorities across the country. The incident of drowning of a young man in Manimalayar at Mallapalli Padutod Jetty during rescue training raises many questions to the authorities. But the Patanamdita District Disaster Management Department is avoiding all their responsibility for the happened event of negligence and continuous blaming each other. Turitikkar Kakkare Kurunel Binu Soman, who was at the forefront of any voluntary work in the country, drowned during a mock drill, and he is undoubtedly a great loss to the country. The revenue, health, panjayat, fire force, NDRF and police departments conducted the mock drill to demonstrate how rescue operations should be carried out in the event of a flood disaster. Four locals were recruited to pretend to be drowning in the water for conducting this mock drill. One of these was Binu Soman, who descended to the depths. A life was lost in front of the disaster management team, who came to demonstrate how to carry out rescue operations in the event of a disaster. Even though it was nearby, the disaster management team was not ready to carry out rescue operations. If this is the situation in the training mock drill, then the region is afraid of what will happen if there is a real disaster coming up, who will rescue them? Mokhtar demonstrated the rescue of four people drowned in floods. The fire force and NDRF had prepared a water rescue operation too. A scene where an inflated life boy is thrown at four people, including Binu Sawman, who is pretending to be drowning and they are rescued by the fire force and NDRF in a boat while they are lying on it, eventually culminated in a real tragedy. Three people who were with Binu Sawman got hold of the life boy. However, the unlucky Binu caught in the eddy in the river, could not catch the life boy. The rescue workers who threw the life boy back to the submerged part did not realize that Binu Soman had actually drowned. Finally, after half an hour, the crew took out Binu. The rescuers put him in the boat, ensuring he had pulse, that is, he has life, but the engine was damaged and the boat did not move. When he was dragged ashore and loaded into the ambulance, there was no oxygen in the ambulance. What a severe lapse was happening in Binu's case. It is clear from this that the mock drill at Mallapalli was full of negligence and not adequately planned. The most critical thing is that the natives who are not trained in mock drill sessions are put into the water. None of the equipment delivered to mock drill was really well operating. No action has yet been taken against officials who came to mock drill with a boat and that too with a broken motor. There is no answer to the question of the locals as to why the people in the boat did not jump into the water and prepare for rescue even though one person drowned in front of them without catching the lifeboat. Doubts remain whether those on the boat were expert drivers. The disaster resulted in the mock drill by untrained rescuers who were unprepared and without functional equipment. At a glance, it is clear that the mock drill tragedy that resulted in Binu Soman's death 
was due to lack of coordination between departments and lack of equipments. Only through an in-depth and mindful investigation can those responsible for the accident could be found. Since the deceased Bino Soman was unmarried and living alone, the fight to get justice for him would be less recognized or even silenced. Therefore, the officials responsible for the disaster may get away easily. I'm Shreya signing off. If you like the video, please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to send us any news or feedback, please send it us on kaumudiglobal at gmail.com.